what's up youtube welcome to this video so this video is about how can you send or receive data from api uh, using dotnet c sharp so we will begin by signing into rapid api so this will help us to test that our code is correct so we can try different apis by just uh, signing up here so enter any username amazing code verse sign up now it will tell you to enter your name now we have many apis to choose from and now let's start our application and we will make we will make a console app to keep it simple. Now in the current .NET 8, uh, many things have changed like uh, we don't have a class or a method here, just direct code. So we will change some of the things here in the project, double click it. We will disable the implicit using so that you can see that what libraries are we using for this project. And we will also disable this warning because it won't affect our application. So now console write line is giving an error because we don't have the using system statement. And I will remove this and create a class program and inside this we will create a static async task we need this uh, async task main method because we will make methods which are async so we require our main method to be async as well so now i will create another class which we will call API handler. Uh, let's just remove the namespace just for the consistency. And we need some variables. So static read only. So this HTTP client uh, will be responsible uh, for sending our request to the API. We need these properties to work with our API. The URL of the API, the header and the body for the request. So uh, when we want to send our data to the API, we need the body and the headers. Then the HTTP method is the type of method that we will send our request. So we have multiple methods with multiple advantages. Let us create the method which will send our request. So public async task and from the API we will receive our response in the form of HTTP response message send request. We will put a try and catch. So that if anything goes wrong, we know what happened. Now uh, we will make a HTTP request message and give it the method. So the type of method and the API URL. After that, if the method is of type post then we need to add the body to this request so to do that we need string content which takes three parameter the first one is body the second one is the encoding and the type of request that we are sending so we, we define the content type 
नेक्स्ट वी असाइन द रिक्वेस्ट आवर कॉन्टेंट नाउ वी विल सी डेट इफ वी हैव हेडर्स काउंट ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन अ फॉर ईच लूप विच विल एड द हेडर्स to our request so we will add header dot key and header dot value to so the key value of the dictionary so now we have added our header and our body data now we are ready to send the request so now we will make a http response message and send the request by send async then we will return the response and if the request failed then throw new exception and we will say request failed and the reason being the exception message so this is our send request method which utilizes all of the variables that we created here we don't need this link so we are using these libraries in the main method we will use our api handler to send the request to one of the api so let's select the api uh, the first api that i am going to use is covid 19 data and to use this api i first have to subscribe to test this api and it is necessary otherwise the api won't work first test the endpoint to see if the api is working the api is working correctly it is giving us the data so let's come back to code snippet and we will see the c sharp the uh, complete code for us but we will use our code to send the request in a proper manner so let's start using the api handler first we will create headers which will be new dictionary of type string and string we will copy the headers from here so these are the necessary headers required to process the api now we will create an object api handler and we will pass the url and method will be http method dot get so this is a get method after this we will pass the headers that we created above our api handler will do the rest we just have to call the api war response await api dot send request then if the response is success status code then we get the response body by using await response content dot read string async that this will convert the response into a readable string after that we will say response response body this will print our response so console dot read key to hold our response 
So let us test this out. So we have our response, whatever the stuff. We can also put a breakpoint here and see all of the stuffs that is returned by the API response. So let's just copy and comment this out. And now let us play with the post type of API. So for that I will be using translate. So this Google API. First of all subscribe to it. Then go to Google Translate and here we will copy the URL change this to post we need these headers and we also need one more thing which is we need the body data so in the body we can come here and we have our text and the languages from from and to so uh, these are the codes if you don't know the code for your language you can search iso language codes i will give the link of these in the description so i want to uh, convert it to Spanish code is ES. So I will give it a text Spanish and from we can leave the from empty. So let's keep it empty, it will auto detect that this language is English. Now we need to pass the body but in the form of string. So for that we need JSON serializer from the system text dot JSON. And we will serialize the body so it will convert the body into a string. So this serializer can convert classes, object, anything in the form of JSON. So now we have uh, all of the things here. The method is, is post and we didn't test the uh, API. So let's test it first. So it's giving me the response. Let's now try our form of the API. So we have received the response so hopefully this is the uh, right spanish translation of my uh, english sentence so this is how you work with apis in c -sharp .net. so this is all for the video thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel see you next time